it didn't belong here. It just doesn't look like the rest of the neighborhood. Oh, but it's moving on in. Modular homes moving in on the Cape and angering many longtime Cape Coral residents. They lined up tonight at an elementary school in Cape Coral for a special meeting on this, and they sounded off saying these types of homes don't belong near them. Four in your corner is Michael Cadigan working to find out more for you so you can make up your own mind on this issue. Michael? Patrick, more than 200 Cape Coral neighbors showed up to this neighborhood association meeting today. Many angry because of more modular homes are expected on the Cape, but many admit it might not make a difference. On the move their trailer in North Fort Myers. Thank you. This thing here. An unwelcome homecoming for potential neighbors in one Cape Coral neighborhood. Modular homes like this one on Embers and Old Burn Store will soon be delivered. It didn't belong here. It just doesn't look like the rest of the neighborhood. Homeowners in surrounding neighborhoods want the city to stop it. They lined up at Krista McAuliffe Elementary angry, saying these modular homes will hurt their home values. I, mean, I could hardly wait to get there and voice my opinion. And we went to the Facebook to see what's going on to be able to help. But some are skeptical, saying it would only feel good to blow off steam. But nothing concrete will change. They can't stop it. It's here. They're not going to take it up and move it. It's here. The biggest thing they can do is stop it from growing and keeping them from coming in all the rest of the neighborhood around here. Northwest Cape Coral Neighborhood Association President Dennis Catalano says the meeting will be an educational one, trying to help ease the frustrations of homeowners with knowledge. He made it clear his organization's goal is to uphold standards of living and property values. We're not one of the groups that are going to storm the Bastille and the, the council chambers, uh, uh, you know, demanding something. We'll, we'll be factual and measured and, and approach, and then we'll see what we're going to do. He says he understands what those homeowners who live on those streets are going through. I know I wouldn't want one next to my home. Um, you know, they have its place. Michael Cadigan, Fox 4 in your corner. All right, thank you, Michael. We want to hear from you. Are you okay with these homes? Or are you saying, heck no, they got to go? You can call or text 239-206-FOX4 or email news at fox4now. New tonight.